You probably would have seen the news. Ian Gary has talked about how he felt Sean Strickland and Drix Duplessis fought like amateurs. Now, I could do a video on just how embarrassing and ridiculous this is and how delusional Ian Gary has been. But instead, I'm just going to ask the question, who else has a sneaky suspicion that Ian Gary might end up having too much anxiety come UFC 298 against Jeff Neal? Because after he had to withdraw from his fight against Vicente Luque, Ian Gary talked about how the online hate he's received is very difficult for him and his wife and, you know, addressing all of this... Uh, all that stuff and the reality is that Ian Gary is in a situation or rather I should say he's put himself in a situation where you cannot complain about hate you receive from fans and people online and have any credibility because you bought it all on yourself times 10 and he was talking and after he mysteriously got ill the week of the fight and pulled out before it would have been expected for the UFC to find a replacement, he claimed that, again, the hate he received was very hard on him, etc., etc. And if he thought, as I put in the thumbnail of this video, if he thought the hate he received going into UFC 297, excuse me, 296 was bad, he has got another thing coming. It is going to be way more intense for him at UFC 298 because 296 was a decent card. It was going into it. It looked okay. It was reasonably stacked. 298 is much bigger. You've got Volkanovski. You've got Robert Whittaker. It's one of the it's one of the best cards we've seen at the start of any year. So there's going to be a lot more attention on this card. He's already painted himself into a corner even more than he already had, by pulling out of a fight the week of, even though he claimed that he won the supposed fight against Jeff Neal the first time because Jeff Neal pulled out and he said, well, if you don't show up for work, then I I win because I showed up, you know, all that nonsense. Then, claiming that the, two, well, now the former champion and the new champion of the UFC middleweight division fought like amateurs when they put on a fight of the night kind of performance whereas Ian Gary just played with his food against Neil Magny for three rounds he is going to get he he has got a much bigger target on his back than he already had so I've got a sneaky suspicion that Ian Gary will I'm assuming he'll show up to fight if he's healthy but I would not be surprised if Ian Gary starts looking at exit strategies when they when they get close to the fight because he is unproven when it comes to dealing with uh, with the spotlight that you put yourself under as somebody who wants to be the bad guy. He has not faced that yet. He was going to face it supposedly at 296 and he didn't make it. Is he going to make it to this one? I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like and subscribe. Later.